first things first, Hoodstar Dottie was the weakest link on this song. I'm tired of that Brock Stroh screen flow. I call it the screen flow. Shy K does it. Shy G's does it. Bro, it's like a hundred different flows that you can use. And the way these guys do it, it sounds like the same rappers on every song, dog. Didi Osama did this thing, though. It wasn't his greatest song, but he delivered lyrically. And he did see how I feel like no reason like Bronx Stroh rappers do. Like, they always diss a rapper in the hook or something like that for no reason. Like, do you even know see how I shake on my head? This beat was super infectious with some cool sound effects behind it. It sounds like a beat that you can go, like, on a jog to. Or it sounds like the perfect TikTok record. Or the perfect TikTok record if you had, like, a better hook. You feel me? The video was dope. They shot it in a bodega in a pool hall. But the way they edited the surroundings didn't even matter. I can't say much about the song. Because it really wasn't too far off from a typical Bronx Drill song at all. It just didn't have that heavy sampling. But the one thing I'm going to do is give props to... To Didi Osama for staying consistent and dropping music videos every three to four weeks because that's hard, dog. A lot of these other rappers who not from the Bronx, rappers in Cleveland and stuff like that, they don't know how to put out consistent content. They don't know how to get put out content that's going to get clicked. Didi Osama and all these other rappers, they're constantly working. They're constantly dropping music videos and music and all that kind of stuff. You got to give them their props to that. These other efforts work. And also, I'm going to give him props for doing what most of these industry rappers can't even do. Or what most of these rappers who get 10 views can't even do. When you look up Hood Star Daddy on YouTube, you see three music videos. All from one year ago. One, matter of fact, one of them was a year ago. One was eight months. One was two weeks ago. None of the videos have above 25,000 plays. Most artists, whether they're cool with their homie or not, that could even be their brother. Most artists is not going to put their homie on their platform. 21 Savage could have easily put Young Nudie on that Drake album. He didn't do it. They probably recorded 20, 30 songs. 21 Savage didn't even think to put Young Nudie on one song. One friend on one song. He didn't do it. So I got to give props to Didi Osama for constantly making songs with his homies. Putting his homies on, on his platform. Knowing that every video, every music video he drops is going to do a million plays. You cannot hate on him for that. That's dope. He trying to put on other people with him. You know. Digital Thugs. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Digital Thugs. Underscore. Check out the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, or, or Apple Podcasts. Digital Thugs Podcast. Thank you for watching.